So, good morning and welcome. Um, I have to start, I'm afraid, with some boring technical details. Um, microphones will be muted uh, for everyone through the official parts of the event, um, but we do encourage you to turn on your cameras um, so that you get a chance to, uh, to see each other um, and admire some of the wonderful hats um, that, uh, that, that are visible um, in various video feeds this morning. I hope you can all hear me. Um, I also hope I'm not going to suddenly pitch sideways and turn into a view of the ceiling at some moment um, in the course of this, because um, naturally my camera is propped unsteadily on a pile of books. Obviously, I'd hoped to be seeing you and your loved ones in person uh, this week, and I very much hope that next year you'll be able to join all of us for a formal graduation ceremony on campus. I am, however, delighted uh, that you've been able to join us this morning for a brief celebration to mark the successful completion of your degrees. The last few months have been incredibly challenging, and I know that many of you will have faced unprecedented challenges in your lives that reach far beyond those presented by your academic work. To have come through all of this, to have completed your degrees successfully, is a testament not only to your hard work and your academic abilities, but also to your perseverance and your courage in the face of truly daunting times. My colleagues and I want to congratulate you for your extraordinary achievements in the face of adversity, but also to thank you for everything you've done to make English at Leicester a thriving academic community over the last three or four years. You have made the English community at Leicester what it is, and it's been an enormous pleasure for us to share with you our passions hopefully to feed your passions and even ignite new ones during the course of your degrees. This is obviously a difficult time in the world and we recognise that it's a difficult time for you to be embarking on careers or contemplating postgraduate study. You've shown yourselves to have the adaptability, the intelligence and the resilience to thrive despite the strange and troubling times in which we find ourselves. Now, more than ever, English language, literature and creative writing have a vital role to play in helping us to reshape the world in the light of the challenges that face us. While of course we recognise the vital role of science and medicine in responding to the pandemic, as scholars in the arts and humanities, you also have a centrally important role to play in helping us to make sense of and adapt to the situation at a human level. Now more than ever, we must recognise the vital interplay between disciplines. Through the sciences, we explore what we can do, but it's only with the contribution of the arts and the humanities that we can fully understand what we should do. Meeting today in this virtual space, I'm again delighted that the science fiction of my youth has become a reality, and I can only hope I'll soon have the flying car I was promised or failing that, that I will at least be able to teach in the form of a two foot high projection of Princess Leia. But as my working life over the last month has occurred entirely in one small room, um, I'm also reminded that 600 years ago, Chaucer, the father of English poetry, already recognised the importance of the arts in the creation of virtual spaces. As the villainous Miller remarks in the Reeves tale, my house is straight, but you have learned art. You can, by arguments, make a place a mile broad of 20 foot of space. Whatever the size of your house and whatever the restrictions you may be experiencing at the moment, I'm sure you feel keenly, as I do, the power of literature to transform the places we inhabit and to transport us beyond the confines of our physical world. As you go out into the world, both physically and perhaps increasingly online, I hope you'll take with you a keen sense of your own importance and the enormous value of everything that you, as an English graduate, can bring to your future endeavours, whatever they may be and wherever they may take you. On a personal note, I'd like to thank you all for the joyful times I've spent with you discussing Old English language and literature, the history of the English language, and the literature and myths of the Vikings. The Vikings have a reputation for being a bloodthirsty bunch, but they were in fact rather cultured, with a love of intricate poetry, 
a fondness for washing that was unusual in their, in their day, and a belief in a cyclical world in which the end of one thing always bore within it the seeds of something new and exciting. This may be the end of your degree, but it's also the beginning of a new chapter in your lives, and one that I know you'll write with all the elegance, verve and intelligence that I've so much enjoyed in your essays. Our warmest congratulations to you all, and I hope that you will all emulate the Vikings. Wash your hands, never stop loving poetry or composing it, and go out and create a new and exciting world. I can't wait to see what you all do. Now, unfortunately, the Vice Chancellor couldn't be with us in person today, but I know he wanted to congratulate you, and I'm going to hand over to, uh, to him now to appear by video message. Hi, I'm Nishan Kanagaraja. I'm the Vice Chancellor of your university. I was really looking forward to my first summer graduation ceremony with you. But we all know why we cannot hold a face-to-face -face event this year. But I just want to tell you how proud we are of your achievements, especially during these difficult times. We as a university community want to congratulate you and wish you the very best in your future. We want you to go out there and make a difference. I want you to make yourself, your family and this university proud. You are our citizens of change. All the best. So, um, in a moment, I'm going to pass over to some of our graduates to speak briefly to, uh, but I wanted to just take a minute um, to uh, read through the prize winners. Um, I know some of them are in the room. I won't embarrass you by asking you to make a speech, but I'd like to take a moment for us to, um, uh, as it were, applaud our prize winners. So. This year, the G.S. Fraser Prize for Poetry was won by Jane Simmons for her poem Flood, uh, and an honourable mention goes to Colin Gardner for Midnight Trees, um, so congratulations to both of them. The Dr. Wallace Henry Prize for the Highest Achieving Finalist was won by Leah Checker, um, who also won the Waddington English Language Prize for Best Performance in English Language, um, and the Jean and Arthur Humphreys Prize for the best dissertation, for her dissertation on the significance of bears as agents of transformation in Old Norse literature. That dissertation very deservingly also won the Medieval Research Centre Prize awarded by the college. The college also awards the Arthur Humphreys Memorial Prize for outstanding final year performance, and that went to Eloise Ruthven Stewart uh, and also to Leah Checker. Um, Eloise also won the Waddington Joint Degree Prize for the best performing joint degree student. There are also Waddington Prizes uh, for best final year performance, won by Eloise and Leah, also by Emily Moody and Kira Proctor, from whom you'll hear in a moment. And finally, the Leicester Literary and Philosophical Society Prize was won jointly by Emily Moody and by Leah Checker. Um, and finally, I said finally, but absolutely finally, my personal prize for the best hat at today's celebration goes to Abby Granger with an honourable mention to Pippa Newton. Um, I'm sorry, Marianne, I can't award a prize to you as, uh, as a member of staff. Um, I'm afraid there's, there's no actual trophy for this. Uh, it's just the glory. However, I'd like to pass on now to, um, uh, to Emma Westbrook and uh, Esme Bonner uh, and Kira Proctor who are going to uh, give you a few brief reflections um, as graduating students on their time at Leicester. Hello everyone, good morning. Um, I've just got a few notes, so apologies if I pause or look away a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad to see that so many people are here um, for this very early celebration. I'm glad you've dragged yourself out of bed. Uh, it's a bit hard for me. Um, I was really happy to hear that this graduation was happening because even though it isn't the graduation I was picturing when I started my degree, um, I'm still really glad we had the chance to celebrate and pat ourselves on the back, you know, because I think we really deserve it after everything we've been through in the past three years. 
Um, I think we've been a pretty unlucky cohort considering that we've not only been the year most affected by events like the strikes and the current corona situation, um, but also that as soon as we arrived in our first year, half the SU closed <laughs> for renovation and the paternoster lift broke. I mean, I never even got to use that. So we've definitely had some trials and tribulations, but despite this, um, and including the consistently inconsistent communication from the School of Arts office. Um, we've come out the other side and we've finally graduated. Um, and whatever grade you've gotten, um, that's something to be incredibly proud of. So well done, guys. I personally have some really brilliant memories from my time at Leicester, um, not all of which I can share in front of staff for legal reasons. Um, but we've come out the other side and have finally graduated. Um, and some of my favourite memories have definitely been of being a course rep and a department rep, going to student staff committees and really feeling part of the department and just the greater community, the English community as well. I've honestly enjoyed most of the modules that I've taken for my degree, um, even the ones I thought I would hate, like, dare I say it, Chaucer in the English tradition, or even post-war to post-modern I didn't think I'd like. Um, but in the, in the end, I think the ones that, I, that pleasantly surprised me were the ones that I actually enjoyed the most and were my favourites. Concepts and Criticism probably deserves for top place though, as it let me write an essay which was basically just a 3,000 word queer feminist rant, so that was fun. It was only recently, but I also really enjoyed the virtual English quiz that we had instead of um, the English ball. Uh, not only because I got to create some of the rounds, but also because when it came down to it, came down to staff versus students, the students came out top and won, showing that we clearly have very vastly superior knowledge. <laughs> okay, now I'll pass over to Esme and Kira to comment on some of their favorite moments at Leicester as well. Um, thank you so much, Emma. Um, I was also asked today uh, to speak about my best memory from my time at Leicester. But when I sat down to write what I was going to say this morning, I realized just how difficult it would be to pin one down. Over the course of my studies here, I've made some of the best friends I will ever have. I've met kind, funny and brilliant people amongst the staff and the students. In my time as a member and as a committee member of the English Society, I've traveled to Berlin, I've been to Amsterdam, I've danced at balls. Um, I have spent hours in the library and in the students union. And when I realized that I was going to pick just one memory, it felt so disingenuous. And then it occurred to me that today, with all of you celebrating the achievements of the class of 2020, even when the world seems to be in utter turmoil, will probably be the memory that I take away from my final year and cherish the most. So I just wanted to say, uh, as, as Emma has already so eloquently put, that we've all done so well in times that were so scary, when the world seems so confusing. And I'm so proud of everybody. And I hope that everybody is healthy and happy. And I wish you health, happiness and success the next stage of your life. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to pass now over to Kira Proctor. Brilliant. So yeah, just to echo everyone who's spoken so far, congratulations everyone on graduating. Um, it's been a bit tough this year, but we've all got here eventually. So my memory of the university that I'll be taking away is the sense of community that I've got here as a member of the English course, as part of the department and as the wider university itself just being able to walk around on campus and bump into anyone anywhere whether that's a friend in the SU a course mate as you're running from Bennett to the top of the Attenborough and you can only say hello in passing or if it's a tutor as you're waiting in the long line for the Attenborough lift and you've got time for a 10 minute chat I think those are the things I'm going to miss the most the kind of seemingly inconsequential interactions that actually kind of really make your day when they happen so yeah just thank you for all all the memories and um such a brilliant time at university thank you right i haven't got much else to add i mean that was brilliant guys i completely 100 percent agree with both of your um memories they were great especially waiting for the lift i've definitely spent too much of my time and a lot of my life doing that <laughs> but it was always nice 
Um, as I wrap up, I'd just like to take the opportunity to say an absolutely massive thank you on behalf of everyone to all the staff in the department. Um, all the work and effort you put in means so much to us as students. We really appreciate all your patience um, and enthusiasm. Uh, and honestly, my very best memories of my time at Leicester are probably going to be the times that staff just went that extra mile to deliver fantastic seminars uh, or spend hours talking to me about my essay plans um, or just checking in with me to see if I was okay. So much love to everyone. Thank you. <laughs> and then lastly, just I haven't really got much else to add, but um, well done everyone, you know, we did it. Congratulations um, to all my fellow graduates and wish you all the best in everything in the future and hope to see you again at some point. So, Thank you very much indeed, uh, Emma, Esme and Kira. That was wonderful to hear from you um, and uh, um, many congratulations uh, to you and everyone. Um, I'm going to pass over now to um, colleagues um, who wanted to, who are here in person today and wanted to have their chance to uh, congratulate you. Um, and I think I'll be passing over first of all to Gowan Dawson. Hi there everybody, I hope you can hear me. As you may know, the university marks its centenary uh, next year, but I think in all those hundred years, nobody has faced more difficult circumstances than your year, the class of 2020. So I think in the annals of the university's history, you're definitely gonna be unique. I think if you can complete your degree in the circumstances that we currently have, then, um, then nothing really in life can hold you back. So all I really want to say is, well, it's a bit early in the morning to have anything stronger, but I want to raise my cup of coffee and to toast your success and to wish you all the very best for the future. So well done, everybody. Hi, everybody. I just want to say huge congratulations on everything that you've achieved, all the great things you've done here at Leicester. It's been absolutely fantastic having you here with us. And what I wish for you now is that you take what you've learned, get out into the world, aim high, be bold, and do what makes you happy. Congratulations everyone from me as well. You have done amazing work and especially uh, these last few months you've produced work that has made me not only proud but also feel humbled and inspired. Uh, you will begin a new chapter in your lives so take inspiration from the challenges you faced and don't give up. I cannot wait to hear about your new adventures. Best of luck with everything. Hi everyone. Um, thanks Emma, Esme and Kira, for those moving and inspiring words. Um, it's brilliant to see all of you here today. I'm seeing people that I've known and, and worked with since you were first years. Um, and congratulations on, on getting to this exciting point. Um, it's been my really great pleasure to work with a lot of people here and a lot of your colleagues as a personal tutor in seminars, um, in the English Society, in the English Student Staff Committee. Um, so this is just to wish you all congratulations, keep in touch with us and I wish you all the very best for whatever you go on to do next. It's been a pleasure working with you. Well done everyone. Um, what a lovely occasion. It's fabulous to see you all and a massive congratulations. Um, as a personal tutor, I wanted to say that I'm, I'm keenly aware that, that some of you got through these, this degree carrying lots of tough things. You face some real challenges of which coronavirus is only the latest and, and most pandemic-y. Um, but that, that personal challenges can, can make your academic work all the harder. So I want to say well done to you. Uh, a big thank you to you for all that you've contributed. A thank you to your support networks as well. Um, and I look forward to seeing you hopefully face to face in the near future. Well done. Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to say congratulations. You've been absolutely wonderful to work with. You've been a pleasure and it's been a delight to see so many of you thrive over the past three or four years. I'm looking forward to seeing all that you can do. So good luck. Congratulations everyone. I'm full of admiration for the way you've performed over the last few months. Look after yourselves. And as Sarah says, keep in touch with us. We look forward to hearing what you get up to. You've got a long, long life to live ahead of all of this. This will seem a brief moment one day. Hello, can you all hear me? Hope so. 
Um, just to add my congratulations to everybody else's. Um, getting a degree isn't easy, as you all know by now, but doing so in the middle of all this is pretty darned incredible. So while it's awful not to be able to celebrate in person, you're always going to have a great story to tell. You'll be those graduates from that year who fought through so much, showed such resolve. Keep in touch with us, please do. Keep safe. Many congratulations once more. Um, so some of our colleagues, unfortunately, couldn't be um, here today for various reasons, uh, but very much wanted to have the chance to congratulate you as personally as they were able to. Um, and so we have a brief uh, video uh, with some messages from, uh, from some of the colleagues who couldn't be here today. Congratulations to all of you. It's been a challenging few months for you and it's a credit to you that you've managed to persevere and complete your degrees despite the difficulties that you faced. It's not an easy time to graduate, but I believe that the determination and the commitment that you've shown in achieving your degrees in the middle of a global pandemic will serve you well as you move on now to forge your careers. It's been a pleasure to teach you and I wish you all the best for the future. To all our amazing graduates, you face more challenges than we ever anticipated, but here you are, graduation. I want you to wish you all the best for the future. And remember, now you all get time to read for fun again. Brilliant. I may see some of you in postgraduate study next year, and I hope I do, but wherever you end up going, whatever you end up doing, I wish you all the best and very, very well done. Enjoy this moment, it's yours. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're incredibly proud of you and all of your achievements. Take care and keep in touch. Congratulations on finishing your degree. I hope that you're going to get some time to celebrate or make some time to celebrate now and then continue that celebrating over the next few months because it has been really well deserved. Hello, it's Phil Shaw here. I want to wish all of our finalists hearty congratulations. What a brilliant achievement. And I also want to say good luck for the future and take care. All the best. What I wanted to do now was something a little bit experimental. Um, this may make a terrible noise, uh, but I wanted uh, us all to have the chance, well, I wanted us as staff to have the chance to applaud you, and I'm going to have all of our mics unmuted. Also, your microphones will be unmuted by the coordinator. Um, so if you would like to give each other a round of applause, um, please do so. It may make a terrible noise, but at least it's an opportunity for all of us uh, to be involved in expressing, um, uh, expressing our feelings on this occasion. So your microphones will hopefully be unmuting as I speak, and we'll just have a brief round of applause. Thank you all very much. That, that, that actually sounded like a round of applause at my end, so I hope it did at your end too. Um, so, um, we're, we're coming to the end of our, uh, our celebration. Um, I wanted to close with uh, some messages from uh, the officers of the Students' Union, um, and uh, then we'll play out with a few, a few remaining uh, messages. But first of all, the officers of the Students' Union wanted their opportunity to congratulate you. Hi everyone, I'm Mia, I'm your Student Union President, and I just wanted to take this time out to say a huge congratulations. You've made it, you're graduates. Um, this year has probably been the most tumultuous year, or one of for students on campus at Leicester. Um, you are the first and only students to go through a whole pandemic and graduate. Um, I know that the ceremonies have been postponed and to a lot of students that will be awful um, and a really huge opportunity that they were looking forward to having. Um, but I hope to see as many of you as possible um, next July and next January to celebrate in person. Wishing you all the best um, in your next endeavours and well done because you made it. Hi everyone, my name is Adnan, I'm the Students Union Education Officer. Just a huge congratulations from me to all of you for graduating. I know it's in unfortunate circumstances, um, but well done even so, and I hope you're all safe. Um, remember what you've learned, not only in your degree, but from each other and from the people you've met in your time here, um, and utilise that 
to to help change things and to help change the world i i have faith that everyone here has has an ability to to impact things and to really uh, uh, progress the world in a more just and sustainable way thank you hi everybody i'm tony magaya and i'm your liberation officer so i really want to congratulate you on this amazing amazing achievement you guys have been through so many hurdles this year the biggest one being coronavirus but you came out in the end and here you are flourishing on this amazing day so today i really want you to remember your experiences go out in the world and slay it because the world is definitely your stage hi guys i'm carly your well-being officer i want to say a huge congratulations to everyone who's graduating this year you have overcome so much throughout your degree. Not only have you had to deal with strikes, but you've also graduated in spite of a global pandemic. Just know that you can do anything you put your mind to and overcome all obstacles in your way. I wish you all the best of luck and I know that you are all going to accomplish incredible things. Congratulations to our fellow 2020 graduates. We know it's not been our year, but we hope you're taking some time to celebrate your achievements.